Now we just need to get her in the marrying mood. Mm. I've already got you covered. Showtime. Excuse me, is this chair taken? Well, I was thinking about pushing them together to spread out, but sure. <laughs> is this your first? You and your husband must be really excited. Yeah, we are. Uh, he's not my husband yet. And if he continues to blow me off on this cruise, he'll be someone else's husband. Well, what are you waiting for? It looks like you're about to pop. <laughs> not that it's any of your business, but uh, it's, it's just not the right time. I was in love with a wonderful man once, George. We were going to get married, but it was never the right time for us either. Sadly, he never came back from the war. Why not? <laughs> Seriously? He died. It was too late. We waited too long. You never know what's going to happen. How much clearer do I need to be? Well, I just think if, if you'd married George, you would have been a lonely widow. So you're really lucky you dodged that bullet. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sure you ended up meeting a great guy you never would have met otherwise. Actually, I did. I never would have met Harold, the love of my life and husband for almost 40 years. See? So it all worked out. What a great story. Have a nice day. <laughs> wow, Helen. Way to stay on message. I mean, nobody gives a crap about Harold. I'm so sorry for your loss. George sounded like a great guy. He was an ass. <laughs> now, how about those drink tickets I was promised? No, I don't think so. The deal was you got these if you convinced her. That wasn't the deal. Yes, it was no, the deal. It wasn't. Yes, it was. Were you even in cash? Give it to me. No, let go. Oh!